Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. I recently visited Tennessee and I wanted to share with you all this really awesome spot that I found that sold so many fun 18 inch doll size items. So this fun antique market is located in Clarksville, Tennessee and it is called Warehouse 41. There are basically a bunch of different booths in this one antique market that sells so many fun items. This one in particular was my favorite because I was so excited to see so many doll size items. This video is definitely long overdue. As you can see, there were lots of Halloween items because that is around the time that I visited Tennessee. And although it is not Halloween anymore, I still wanted to share with you all everything that I found there. The name of this booth was Cora Oaks Collection. I didn't see a business card while I was there, but I did go ahead and find her Facebook page in case if any of you were interested in anything that you see here and you wanted to reach out to her. I will have all that information linked down below in the description box. Everything here was so reasonably priced. I'm so used to seeing that $30 and up price tag for clothing for our American Girl dolls, our 18-inch dolls. Everything was $20 and under, which is amazing. You get a top and a bottom, and then shoes would be sold separately. The variety of clothing that she had at her booth was insane. I know I'm only showing you guys right now the Halloween outfits, but later on we will get into the Christmas outfits. She even had some fun summer and spring outfits. And check out this adorable Minions costume. I thought that this was so freaking cute. And then I just absolutely fell in love with this Spider-Man costume. It even comes with a fun little mask and this was priced at like $12.95 you guys. One thing that I really loved about her booth is that displayed she had some dolls wearing the outfits that she made. That way you can see how they fit on the doll and you can decide whether or not it's worth purchasing if you like the way that it looks on them. Here is the Minions costume up close. I'm telling you guys, it is so freaking cute. And then to the left here, there was a rack of 18-inch doll size backpacks, which I thought was really cool because this is not something I'm necessarily on the hunt for, but it was nice to see a variety of backpacks that she had for both boys and girls. Here are some more dolls displaying all of the outfits that she made. And yes, guys, she does also sell Welly Wisher clothing. So if your wellies are in need of some more clothing, make sure to check out her page and purchase from her. This is probably the most exciting part about this entire booth for me is to see how many options of 18 inch doll size shoes that she had. I am someone who is in serious need of doll shoes. Like I have fun outfits, but I don't have shoes to pair with it. So honestly, this is the part where I went crazy on. Which, by the way, of course, do not worry, there will be a haul by the end of this video. So as you can see, she had lots of different options from flats to tennies to like shoes that look like Vans. Um, she even had some heels. Honestly, any type of shoe that you were looking for, she had them and they were so reasonably priced. Some of them were only $1.95, some were $3.95. I believe the highest pair of shoes that I saw here were $6.95, which is still a really good price for a pair of shoes for our dolls. Lots of options, so many fun colors, such a fun different variety, um, so many different aesthetics that you can pair with all of these fun shoes. And honestly, having a big variety of shoes to go with all of the fun outfits that she had was really refreshing to see because sometimes not having a complete outfit for your dolls is stressful. At the top here, she did have some 18 inch doll size chairs and then going to the left, there were some My Life As dolls brand new in box and then she had American fashion dolls with their box and then we are heading into the Welly Wisher clothing. I'm pretty picky with what I choose to dress my dolls in, not just the Wellies but also my 18 inch dolls just because I feel like I have a certain aesthetic that I kind of go for with all of them like at all times so it can be quite hard to find a certain outfit that I, I may like it but I won't love it because it's not I guess what I'm going for. Um, a lot of these were really cute, but I didn't really see any that super duper caught my eye. These pajamas were adorable, but I don't personally keep my dolls in pajamas for longer than like a night. Although she did have some outfits that I was considering purchasing for the smaller dolls, like this white set in particular I thought was super cute and it even came with a pair of shoes and I just felt like that outfit was so slay, like it was giving what it was supposed to be giving. Um, some more Halloween costumes and then they had some Christmas pajamas for the girlies as well and cheer outfits and yeah, she did have some cute stuff but like I said, since it wasn't really my aesthetic that I go for, I didn't really end up going and purchasing anything 
from the willies even though a lot of the stuff was super cute and then to go with all of the outfits she even had welly wisher size shoes for them which was really exciting to see because i feel like welly shoes aren't as easy to find as 18 inch doll size shoes she had cute little headbands for them priced at only two dollars and 95 cents and then to the left there she even had some backpacks set to their size Here's some more 18 inch doll size clothing that she had there. I'm going through it kind of quickly just to give you guys a brief overview of everything that was there. But like I mentioned, she had for basically every different season, but some of my favorite were these Christmas pajamas. Once again, only priced at $12.95. My favorite pair of pajamas though was this one right here priced at $15. I had never seen anything like it. It was so my aesthetic and I absolutely fell in love with it. She also had some fun cheer and gymnastics outfits for the dolls. And then I'm going to show you guys in just a second here. She had a dress that reminded me so much of Ivy's New Year's outfit. And that was probably like my favorite piece she had there. And underneath all the clothing were a couple of random doll size accessories and some fun baseball slash softball sets uh, to complete a fun outfit for your dolls if any of your dolls play sports. And then of course there are some more clothing that I'll just go ahead and show you guys very quickly. So here's like a fun little penguin pajama set. She had some outfits clearance. So this one here was only $7.95. And then just a couple of other fun outfits that I wanted to share with you all. And then this is like a Girl Scout or Boy Scout outfit. And I really like this pair of pink and white pajamas also. And this one was $15. And this is a fun zebra print outfit that came with a hat. I didn't see many outfits come with a hat. So that was fun. And this looked like a little uh, tracksuit outfit. I thought that was so cute. I love that the inside of the hoodie was blue. Another baseball outfit, um, and now we're getting into some soccer ones. Super cute Christmas pajamas yet again, and these ones were $12.95. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for the outfits that she had up here. She had even more accessories to look through. How fun is everything? Honestly, just so perfectly organized and laid out. So first, we're getting into the sunglasses. And these were each $3.95. These ones are super cute. They were red and had white polka dots. She had some heart-shaped sunglasses, um, just some plain regular black ones. And then onto the right, she even had actual glasses, which was really, really cool. These ones reminded me a lot of the Raz very american girl doll glasses and then those ones kind of look like some fun harry potter ones and just so many different options that you can choose from literally every single color was inside of this tin of glasses and these here i thought were headbands at first but they're actually belts which was really cool because i've never seen belts just sold individually like this and these were only a dollar and 95 cents and once again had so many different colors for these and then just some other accessories to go with her soccer slash like baseball outfits um here we have like a soccer ball and then that's like a little cast and you can see the basketball that was underneath there even a volleyball and then she had even more outfits although these were more of like spring slash summery outfits i really loved how well organized her booth was everything was super easy to find and if you were looking for like a specific holiday or season to dress your dolls in then it was really easy to search through here this red swimsuit with white polka dots was my favorite thing ever i thought it would look so so cute on mary ellen she has fun zebra print outfits fourth of july ones these ones here were my favorite because it came with an extra pool accessory so freaking cute i can already see people taking like the cutest pictures with their dolls wearing this by the pool and then just some other fun outfits that i wanted to show you all here are some more dolls wearing the outfits that she made and then I found Grace's dog and I was like, oh my god, this is my first time ever seeing Grace's dog in person and he was $9.95, which I feel like is a really good price because usually American Girl Dogs range from like $20.00. And then there were more accessories to look through, you guys. Like, this booth was just never-ending fun. Right here were some really cute accessories that reminded me of Mary Ellen's pearl bracelet and necklace. And I definitely picked up these necklaces here that she had, like, with a little heart on it. Um, there's this necklace with a cross. And then just some other fun bracelets that she made that go with a matching necklace. 
And then here she had the cutest cream colored socks that I knew I just had to buy for my girls. As a little girl, I lived in these socks with like fun dresses. My mom always dressed me in that. Here was a fun accessory pack for only $10.95 and it came with a laptop, a tablet, and a phone. And I thought that was a great price for what you get. And these are some white knee-high socks and she had them in red and black and i did also go ahead and pick up some of those because i feel like white socks are an essential for doll outfits she had little bible keychains that could easily be used as a doll sized bible and then just a couple of more fun glasses and these little halloween baskets i own so many of them i thrifted them like a couple years ago and they're just so handy for halloween time for the girls and just some more basketballs and soccer balls. And then this, I was like, oh my god. These are all hand crocheted doll size accessories. This one in particular really caught my eye because of the colors. And it was only $5.95. And it comes with a really cute little scarf. And some of them even had a bow on the front, which I thought was just so cute. And then right next to that was even more sets. But these were like ponchos. And this is adorable. Like, I've never seen anything like this. And the colors were beautiful. I was just imagining these on historical dolls. And, the, like, they would just look so cute. This red one was absolutely gorgeous. I fell in love with the color of it. And then she even had some really cute multicolored ones, which were just so darling. Like, literally obsessed. Obsessed. If I knew how to crochet like this, I would be unstoppable. She had some fun sequence headbands, which is something I've also never seen, I don't think, at all wearing. And this I was really excited about. She had tights, and I love dressing my dolls in tights, like underneath their dresses. And she had so many colors. I was looking for a pink one, and I didn't find one, but I did go ahead and pick up some white tights. And then lastly, she just had a tote of some doll underwear for a great price because a lot of times I thrift dolls and they're left with no underwear and I want them to have underwear. So she also sells that as well. Now to show you guys what I bought. Okay, so since this video was filmed a couple weeks ago, obviously I've already opened everything and it's on the dolls now. So I figured that the best way to show you guys was just kind of an overview of how it looks and fits on the dolls. So I just kind of have them um, displayed here. I usually have more dolls up in the corner here, but I'm doing their hair. Um, so this is just some of my girlies. And so let me do a close up and show you all everything that I got. Okay, so I'm not gonna do this in any particular order. So first I wanted to show off one of the pairs of doll socks that I bought. These are the cream colored ones. They can go higher if you choose, but I kind of like them like where the flap goes down so that you can actually see the ruffles on the socks. And they are so, so stinking cute. I absolutely love it so much. On Mei Ling here, she is wearing a dress that is also from the booth as well as the gold heart necklace. I love it so much. It is quite long. I would prefer it to be shorter, so I'll just show you guys what I did with the other necklace that I purchased from her booth. Here are the white tights. They fit them so good, you guys. It goes up really high. Sorry, you can see your underwear, but this is how far up it goes on the dolls. Just like regular, um, normal American girl tights, I would say. But I absolutely love this dress. I'll fix it on her later. And then here are the white pearl flats that I just fell in love with. Like, freaking fell in love with. These are so my aesthetic. I really love the little bows on them. And I actually picked up like three pairs of these. These next flats here are pink ones. I thought these were really cute and different because they're kind of like pointy. Whereas like it's not just a typical flat. It has like a different shape to it. And I thought that that looked really, really cute. And then right here is Isabel. And Isabel is wearing these really cute shoes that I also brought from the booth. Which these were like the only pair there. And I thought it looked best on Isabel because she's a ballerina and that's the vibe that these are giving me. And also, Christy from AG Takes Over, if you're watching this, I know you wanted to see Isabel wearing the um, really cute like long sleeve that I got from So Lovely Doll Apparel. Here it is. It's so, so cute. And McKenna is wearing the other pair of white flats that I bought. Same exact thing. And she's also wearing 
the same tights. I bought multiple pairs. I don't even know how many pairs I bought. If you watched my last video, I know you've already seen these outfits, but I'm still sharing them with you guys. Um, a close-up since I didn't do that in my last video, but I bought them in pink. I would have bought multiple in pink, but there was only this last pair left, so I'm super glad that I got to get them. And this is another pair of shoes that I got. White flats with a bow. Super pretty and elegant. And I absolutely love them so, so much. So I mentioned the gold necklace being a little bit too long for the way I wanted it to sit on the dolls. So it's kind of hard to tell, but basically all I did was cut off some of the chain just using some pliers. And I just made the necklace shorter. That way I kind of just added a jump ring and that way it sits on her a lot higher which is the way I wanted the gold one to be. So I'll probably end up doing that with the gold necklace too. But I just really like this fit a lot better than how low the gold necklace goes. Next up here is Miss Yvette that I just have modeling one of these skirts that I bought from her booth. This skirt is so cute. It's like something that you'd see like from an Etsy seller. This was only $5 and it's so pretty. It's so flowy really really stretchy it's just got an elastic on that so it's like really easy to put on the girls and then i knew that i needed a pair of shoes to go with it so i picked up these black platform sandals that are absolutely adorable and they just have velcro on the sides and i'm obsessed with the way that she looks in this outfit like she's giving me like earth vibes like earth girl vibes if that makes sense and i really really like it on her I also got this pair of flats that have little bows on them. I would say that these are a bit big on the dolls just because like there's a lot of space here in the front so their toes are almost hiding um, with this pretty decoration at the front so just something to keep in mind but I think that they're still really cute and for the most part they fit on her really nicely. Here are just a couple more pairs of these socks that I bought, all different styles, but all very, very cute. Then I did buy these flats that are adorable, but the little bow sadly fell off, so I will have to glue it back on. Um, I'm not really sure what happened, honestly, because when I bought them, they were fine. I didn't even take them out of the packaging, and then I was like going to start recording, and then I realized that they broke off. Um, so that's really weird. I could probably just glue it, honestly. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, these are really, really cute. All right, everyone. So that's going to be the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in this like fun display that I have going on, I can't wait to show you guys what I have in store for my channel. There is so much going on behind the scenes that I'm just so ready to tell and share with you guys everything. And like, I hate like the anticipation but I love it at the same time I just hope you guys are excited and thank you so much for sticking with me and my girls and for loving my content and for loving me so yeah just thank you all so much for being here and I can't wait to see you all in the next video and I hope that was a fun haul I feel like I'm missing some stuff honestly like I swear I bought more um I don't even know which doll it is on at this point there's just like so many of them but yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye!